everyone. I get a lot of people asking who purchased my Mendy powder is how do I make my henna face, the Mendy face, more silky and smooth. In this video, I'll show you how I mix my Mendy paste and what ingredients I put in as well. So first of all, what you'll need is, in this video, I'm using 50 grams henna powder. So this is 50 gram henna powder, about 100 to 125 ml of plain water. Uh, it could be warm, but not just too cold and not too hot like it's boiling, just warm or normal tap water. Around 20 grams of sugar. Um, best is to use caster sugar because it's more fine. If not, it's best to use a granulated one as well. It wouldn't make a difference. Don't use brown sugar. I've had a lot of people asking me about brown sugar. I don't recommend that because it goes more watery um, once the dye has released, which you'll know in the next stage. And about 15 ml of essential oil. At the moment, in this video, I'm using um, eucalyptus. Eucalyptus, it just helps the colour become more darker. A lot of people ask, what is the oil is for? The oil is actually to make it more silky um, as you're doing it. Like, for example, if you're doing a line on somebody's palm, it won't be as lumpy like as the ready-made ready -made cones that you get from the store. It'll be more smooth and it'll come out like a good flow. You won't need to put as much pressure. A spoon to mix everything and some plastic wrap. So let's get started. So what you need to do, if you do ever have lumps in your Mendy powder, all you need to do is just mash them down or squish them down with a spoon like this. If you're doing it in bulk, your machine could do everything. You can either use a hand mixer or you can use um, a stand mixer. Either one would be easier, whatever is suitable for you. So just add your sugar in, just incorporate a bit and then add your water. And just mix all of this until it's all combined. It doesn't matter if it looks a bit lumpy towards the end. You would have to leave this Mendy paste to sit down in a warm place for a few hours as well. Or even 24 hours. At this stage, it's going to look really thick, um, but don't worry, because once you've added oil in, it'll all combine. So I've added the oil. And just mix it until everything is literally combined. As you can see, it literally comes off the edge as well. Um, you can use... You can use any essential oil of your choice. I've actually used eucalyptus and um, I do use kajapa. I use lavender too. Them three are one of the good ones I would recommend um, when making your henna paste. I'm actually just going to hold it in my hand so I can mix it a bit hard or just to get it all combined in one lump. Okay. And that is done. Once it's gone like this, you can actually leave this like this and just cover it. It's best to take it off the spoon as well because you'd actually have quite a lot stuck on the spoon. Just leave it like this. Just And put the cling wrap or cling film, whatever you have, right on top of the mendy. You don't want to leave any gaps or air in it because if the air gets through it, it's actually going to dry out from that spot or the whole thing would dry out. So best is to leave it like this on top of it and you want to leave this if you're using water a lot of people ask the difference now between water and lemon because lemon has acid in it it's best to leave that for 24 hours um but if you are using water like i am it can take between four to eight hours for dye release i'm actually going to leave this now for four to eight hours in a dark place in a warm dark place um i'm not going to leave it in any window sills or anything that's because the air will probably come through anyway. So it won't be as good for dye release. Um, I do have one already made. 
um here's one that i made earlier as well i actually made this yesterday i used 50 grams as well of henna powder um, i did all the same steps and used water as well as you can see in the video if you can see here there is one thing that you can know that it's a dye release like the brown line at the top and it's a bit green at the bottom you know this is dennis dye release and it should look like this it may look lumpy but um, once you incorporate it all it should all be good um, i don't know if you can see in the video properly but that's the difference that you can see that's the henna the dye release has happened it's done all you need to do is just mix it very well and at this stage if you feel like the henna paste is too thick you can add a drop of water all right for me this is slightly thick it's best to always add a little less water at the start when mixing your powder because at the end sometimes if it's too hot and uh, the paste can go runny and if it's too cold obviously it'll stay thick um on the dye release wouldn't happen so it's best to keep it on an average level where if after you need to you can add some water gradually like i am now and then your henna paste will be ready and this is the paste all ready to use if you have purchased your henna powder from me, um, you do not need to sieve it or anything or sift it um, through a stocking or a sieve or anything because it's actually already triple sifted as well where you wouldn't really need to do it. But sometimes if you do want a really finer and thinner design or a thin line or anything, you can always sift it. It's your choice. Um, but really, to be honest, this is already sifted as much. So here it is. Once your henna ready and you know your henna paste is ready when it's actually stringy. As you can see in the video, if I lift it up like this, I get a nice ribbon. A nice big line that comes with the henna paste. This is now ready. It can be used. You can do a test patch. A test patch is if you know the henna is going to be really good. If you just take your hand or wherever you want to apply it, apply a little dot just over here. I'm going to do mine here. And after five minutes, you check this. And if it's orange or light orange, you can see that the henna has done its dry release and it's definitely ready to use. At this point, you can either leave it like this and store it in the freezer. Or you can leave it in the fridge covered for up to three to five days. I wouldn't recommend leaving it any longer because the longer you leave it, the more the colour would fade at the end when you need the end result. So, thank you for watching.